Hey guys, in this video I want to create a recursive factorial program in Haskell. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up my Haskell compiler, maximize it here so everybody can see. Then we're going to use the let keyword to create our function. I'm going to call it factorial. And it's going to take in some parameter, I'll call it A. And now let's define it. We'll say um, if A is greater than 0, then we will do a times factorial of a minus 1. Else, I'm just going to return 1. So again, uh, recursive factorial is really good for recursion. You can kind of see what's happening here. Uh, it's going to be going, well, it's a function that calls itself, which is what recursion is. And you can see that it's going down 1, or it's decrementing by 1 number each time. So uh, this will give us first 4 times and then whatever factorial of 4 minus 1 is, which is 3. And it keeps going, you know, and then we get times 2 times 1 until we get our answer. So this is a great program for recursion. Let me go ahead and press enter here. Okay, so now let's run the program and see if it works. So factorial of 3, well, factorial of 3 would be 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. So let's see if we get 6 here. And we do. Uh, let's try another number, factorial of 4. That should be 4 times 6, or 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 24. And um, let's try factorial of 0. Well, this should just give us 1 from our else statement there. And it does. And then let's try factorial of 1. This should also um, just give us 1. So, perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a uh, source file, in a Haskell source file. So, let me go ahead and minimize that. I'm going to double click here. I'm just opening up Notepad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put module factorial where and then factorial integer. This is just defining the uh, function saying I'm going to take in um, an integer type and return a integer type. And then I'm going to rewrite our factorial definition. This is equal to if a greater than 0 then a times factorial of a minus 1 else return 1. Now, just to let you guys know, this line here, um, let me maximize so make sure you guys can see it very well. Um, this line here, module factorial where, allows this file to be imported by other Haskell files. So it's optional. You don't really need it. I could take this out, but just to let you guys know what this is. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. Go to all files. I'm going to save this as factorial. Um, actually, I'm going to make it capital F. Factorial.hs. And that's .hs is the Haskell file extension. So I'm going to save that. Okay, X out of this. I'm going to X out of this. And now we can see factorial.hs right here. I'm going to double click it to run it. And you can see that it compiled one of one compiling factorial. So we don't see anything here, right? Well, so how do we run the program? What you have to do is you have to type in factorial and then type in the uh, number that you want the factorial of, such as the number four again. And we should get back 24, which is four times three times two times one. So let me try another number. Let's try factorial of, um, let's do two which should equal 2 times 1, which is 2. Perfect. And let's do factorial of 10. I don't know what that is, so let's see. Um, I guess that's the factorial of 10. And let's try factorial of a number that I can probably calculate, at least in my head, of, let's do 5. So that would be 5 times 4 
which is 20, times 3, which is 60, times 2, which is 120. So let's see if we get that perfect. So we get back 120. So thank you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please leave likes. Please subscribe. And please leave comments. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.